Hello, the guys. So, um, to start off the day, we're in a little different place. Instead of, you know, showing me what I got to eat, showing you what I got to eat and all that, I decided, uh, to wait. And not only that, but I was also rendering out the, uh, yesterday's vlog, so I need to keep the camera and the computer. Ha! So, you missed that, but I don't think you guys care that much. Instead, we're... 3,900 feet up in the air. On a mountain. Pretty impressive. Way to start the vlog. <laughs> so yeah, I'll show you guys when we're at the very top of the mountain. Is up there. But I'm staying here. It's really not. I guess there is a different view. I might write. We're gonna walk down then. Yeah, that's what I kind of assumed. Okay. But yeah, we're going all the way up to that mountain. I would not want to be able to bike this or something. Not be able, I would not want to. If I was able to, that would be awesome. 3,900 feet incline. <laughs> yeah, right. So I'll see you guys at the top. Yeah, we're in the castle. No big deal. <laughs> This is the top of the mountain they have a castle at. There's a bathroom, gift shop, and a restaurant. But nothing that interesting. And here it is. Pretty cool. It's cold in there, now it's hot because I'm in the sun. And of course I put on my long sleeves. And they got some veteran stuff. Kind of cool. Have it updated all the way up to Iraq. And starting with the American Revolution. Cool. So here's a view. Oh, construction work. <laughs> cloudy today, so it's just weird because the clouds look even closer when you're all the way up here. 4,600 feet in the air. Pretty cool. Oh, if I can see over the, yeah, you can see uh, the lake. I believe that's Lake Placid. That's the highway we went all the way up. And off in the distance is another lake that I don't know the name of. A lot of lakes around here, actually. Yeah. There's. You can't see the summit right now, but I'll record when we get up there. This isn't the actual summit. It's just the guest area. So, yep. And here we are. Summit of the mountain. There's a sign over there. That shows the height above sea level. Macro shotty. <laughs> I guess I'm trying to get the rock in the mountains behind it. So yeah, here it is. It's kind of like an observatory type thing up here. And This thing over here. There's a castle, you can see it way back there. That was fun. Yeah. 
cool. We made it. Little look. <laughs> Are you still on video? Yes. Mwahaha. Robert? Yes, I'm in your way. He, 4,800 feet in the or up in the air, above sea level, whatever you want to say it. There you go. This is the summit. We're leaving? Okay. Yeah, I think mom and dad are over Now we're underneath a gigantic mountain. <laughs> this is the tunnel that apparently needed 22 boxcars of dynamite to make the shaft for the elevator we just went down. Pretty awesome. It's actually really cold in here. So yeah, I don't know how well this is going to come out, but you can sort of see the exit over there. It basically went down 27 stories. Vlogging! Yes, I am vlogging. I'm talking to myself while I'm recording on a camera. Amazing. <laughs> uh, people aren't used to it yet. I don't know. Probably can't see my face. Maybe. Okay. Almost out of here. people always say, so, there you go. Oh. Yeah. That funny. And there you go. Back at the bottom side of the mountain. Or the museum and some uniforms and stuff. Boy, here's some of the videos they have coming. It's a miracle over there, the actual live footage from the broadcast. Here's some of the stuff from it. 1980s win over the Soviets. Here's part of the wall. So it's pretty banged up. Over here is another plaque. Shows every win that they got that season. I'm sure he was winning. So they beat Finland, which was a big upset. And USSR, which was also a big upset. I believe. <laughs> you can see all the different sticks. And they made a movie out of this, in case you guys are unaware. So that's why it's kind of a big thing. 
And here is the actual rink. This is in the 1932 arena, I think. No, it's not. This is the 1981, sorry. Derp. <laughs> yeah. What? I know where the 1932 are, okay? I can mixing them up, whatever. Er. So this is where a miracle actually happened, essentially. Pretty crazy. There we go. 1980 break. Yep. Okay, so correction, this is the 1932 arena, as you can see here. We're not allowed in it, unfortunately, but you can see just from the seats <laughs> how much smaller it was. Back there, see, yeah, the uh, seats a little bit higher. One of the first indoor arenas for the Olympic Games, I believe, if not the first uh, indoor ice rink for the Olympics. Pretty cool. So there you go. That's going back to the 1980s one. Hmm. Well, I'll start recording again when something interesting comes up. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Found out there was a door that was unlocked. So here's the actual arena. 1932 arena. In Lake Placid. Pretty cool. As you can see, it's probably not used too much anymore. Yeah, it might be used actually. It's still being, you know, cooled and everything. It just doesn't seem to be super popular, I guess. Yeah, pretty cool. You just tell the architecture is older <laughs> just looking at it. Same seats though, like very much the same exact ones.